All right, happy Monday, y'all. We had a rough weekend, as you know, from the last video, but we're back. And oh, this paper's actually wrong. I folded it the wrong way. We're doing core today. We, I feel like I have to sneeze. Core. But, uh oh. Wait. Please don't let anybody, please nobody. Oh, somebody was in here, though. You can hear the treadmills are running. All right, sorry. Elevator ride from hell trying to get down here. We are back. I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm going to try my core on the days that I'm walking down here and then the days that I don't have to walk down here in the morning, I'm doing something in the afternoon. I'm gonna do like my longer workouts because my arms are always like 45 minutes. These are like, they can be like 30 to 40 minutes depending on my situation that day. Now we're gonna do core first and then do weights because we did not get up this morning. I mean, also like I am in breakout central right now and a lot of them actually are not even pimples. They're just red dots on my face. So I don't know what that is. We are going to focus. I just wanna, I kinda just wanna get this done today. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I will check in before we start the one mile walk. All right, so we are going to do our little walk now. We finished the weights, but we are gonna go outside and just do our little walk, walk around the neighborhood, one mile. Probably not gonna be anything crazy fast, but I will check back when I'm done and let you know how we did. All right, good morning, y'all. As you can see, it's dark out, which means it's the morning. We actually got up this morning. I said to myself, why don't you want to get up? Are you just tired? Yeah. Okay, then no offense, but you're not super tired enough. Not a real reason. Get up. And also we have to do intervals in the afternoon. I said, do I want to do all that in the afternoon? No. Here we are with, it's like someone actually kind of prepped for me. As you can see, there's the 10 pound weights walked in. Oh walked in and they were right on the bench for me, like some little gym fairy left them there. But somebody also did leave the barbell with 45 pounds. I just, I don't know, maybe it's because I put all the stuff back where I found it, that I like, the concept of like, I can pick up the weight, I can use it, but I can't put it back. Look, even the five pounds on the ground over there, the plate, you got one back, but you couldn't get the second one back? I mean like, now I have to go get the fives because they didn't leave the fives out for me, so that's kind of rude, but. We're doing, oh, back and biceps, if you can tell from the shirt. So we're gonna start with the free weights and then cable time. Oh, hello. I was seeing it a little. Y'all, I'm back because I just remembered something. I never told you about our walk yesterday. This is how much you did. We only intended to do one mile, I ended up doing two. It was one hell of a walk that like, I was so really disoriented after this walk, not because the walk was bad, but because like everything going on around us was, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but quite the walk, quite the sightseeing tour. <laughs> Let's just say that. But because of that, I was like in such disarray when I came home, needed to shower, all that. So I forgot, but I will check in after back and biceps. All right, I am all finished, but it was a good workout, but I can tell like, it's so funny now, like I'm learning like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely at the part in like my cycle where it's harder to move the weights or I'm not able to do as many reps as I can on my heaviest set, so. Just trying to take that and be like, okay, it's okay. Like, we'll, we'll just cycle back, literally. But I will see you guys later in the afternoon because we have intervals today. <sighs> Till then. All right, we are heading down to do intervals. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I might try to jog for a mile. My goal is at least one mile because the hamstring is a little tight. Technically yesterday we did two miles, so I have a mile banked in my pocket, which I might have to pull out right now. I'll check in once I finish my first mile. All right, we are back upstairs. So what I ended up doing was five minutes of like a warm up, walking pretty slow, and then 10 minutes just like all out doing the most I could. I just was going at first at how, as long as I could, and then I could just kind of feel my legs were like, I don't know how much longer we'll do this for. And I looked at the stopwatch I set and it was coming up on 10 minutes. So I'm like, okay, perfect. We'll just do 10 minutes, like, cause it was all out pretty much. And then I just did a five minute cool down, came out to like a mile, 15, I think that was pretty good. I will say once I like started moving, the hamstring felt better, but now that I've stopped, it's starting, it's actually starting up again, which is, which I feel like is so weird. I don't know. I thought it would hurt more when I did it, but it didn't. So good and, and bad. I really don't know what to say. Tomorrow morning, we have honestly, the one that I've like somehow been pushing off the most in all the scheduled weeks. It's a 5K, but I have to do it on the treadmill. And I haven't done a 5K on the treadmill. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go look and see what my last time was. I'll put it up here. This was the last time I ever walked on a treadmill and did a 5K. So we'll see. But tomorrow, that's the plan. I'm kind of nervous for it, but we'll be fine. We'll do fine. So I will see you tomorrow morning for hell. Okay, here's the hot gossip. 
Did I do the 5K on Wednesday? No. Did I do anything on Wednesday? No. I was supposed to get up and do legs today. Did I? No. You know why? Cause the hamstring. Okay, sorry. False alarm. The hamstring hurt way too much this morning. All right, so what I was saying was the hamstring hurts so bad. And I've been trying to do so much research on it without having to go to a doctor because I'm just not. Last time I went for the knee, he was like, girl, you, you're carrying too much weight on those knees. What? So basically the last time we went, it was like a waist. Now my hamstring hurts like a little bit, but it's like weird because it hurts, but I think it's too tight because I am a natural knee, like knees to the chest sitter, crisscross applesauce, I'm crossing them. I'm that person. So that messes with my knee, hamstring. So I'm kind of like a mess and I don't know what to do. It's just hard to tell, is it understretched, overstretched, pulled? I have no clue. Um, I think I'm gonna go with understretched because I don't stretch. So I'm gonna try to do just a little stretch. I have no clue what I'm doing down here today. I have no clue. The goal is two miles. I think we'll just walk and then we'll just try to like maintain a bunch of jogging for as maintain a bunch of jogging for as long as we can. I don't know when I'm gonna do my legs. Maybe Sunday, tomorrow we have shoulders, chest, and triceps. I wore this stupid shirt again that always gets caught on me, so that's exciting. And I will see you when I'm done. So I wanted to check in a little earlier because we're like just about a half mile in. Half of it warm up, half of it running. Now I am a little out of breath, but for the sole, so, so for the second quarter of the mile where I was actually like running, I was keeping about a 14 minute pace, which is the target pace I need to hit to do a sub 45 for my next 5k. And I've been doing so much research. Like even though I didn't work out yesterday or this morning, when I don't do those things, I always am making sure on the other end, I'm researching like fitness and health and other things like that. Like I'm still using the time that I missed to work out to benefit when I do go back to work out the next day. I think the time I need for my 5K is either 14.30, 14.23 or 14. I think it's 14.23, I think. So I've been doing about 13.50 right now. It's so funny because when I'm doing my intervals, clearly I'm going so much faster because I actually feel like weird because I'm very like, it's very like light. And now I'm also thinking, am I underestimating myself? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to keep around 13 to 14 mile minute and just try to maintain that because obviously, yes, right now it feels really easy, but once I go around a few times, I hear crying child, then I think that's when it's gonna be hard. So I'm gonna put my head down and focus. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk about that. So I'll check in out at a mile. Look at, can't you see the glisten? I think, Am I, 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 <gasps> I think I have a bit of a pit sweat, which Ooh. I never get. Uh, renewed, rejuvenated, whatever you wanna call it. I look rough, but I don't care. I, mean, I don't I feel, feel like I'm long. I'm sweating like she is. She was really pushing it back. She was in zone five on accident, but. I was really hustling that ass. I'll, oh, I'll <laughs> chat once we get in the apartment. Back upstairs, two miles. Honestly, I didn't have like a plan. Like usually I do that. And I mean, could I, but I just wanted to see how much I could do. And basically, I don't even know, like almost 90% of it, I was just like running or something. I time, pace, all y'all, throw it up on the screen. It was definitely challenging, hamstring hurt a little bit. And like I was saying, that 14 minute mile is tricky because it feels like I'm going really slow. So it's really trippy because now I've noticed when I do my intervals, I'm usually doing that at like a 10 minute mile, which inevitably is the goal is like to get to 10 minutes but that's like next year's goal hey if we hit it this year great but the goal is like 14 minutes so to be doing 14 minutes and being like oh my god why does this feel so slow that is going to be the hardest part about this upcoming 5k training is wrapping my mind around that so i think during this like base building and just just slogging miles these next few months until we go into that I think I'm gonna like have to really start practicing just doing the 14 minutes and like wrapping my head around that. But that is it for today. Pretty happy with the workout, absolutely drenched. Gonna freshen up shower tomorrow. We have shoulders, chest and triceps. And we also have a two mile walk to do. I don't know if I'm doing that before or after, we'll figure that out, but that's it for now. I'll see you in the morning. Gym time, y'all. We were supposed to get up in the morning. We are like, no. <laughs> what next week's goal is to get up in the morning because we're doing everything we're just not getting up in the morning and i hate the afternoons but Sometimes it's, dark. it's okay as long as we do the workout that's all that matters i have not done legs yet i think i'm maybe gonna do those sundays upstairs in our apartment that's the only thing i'm missing from this week and that 5k but move it cut it we're doing a four mile tomorrow shoulders chest triceps that's what we're doing i'm gonna start with the, I'm like, I'm like, whoa, why is that so far from me? Cause the mirror, we're starting with the free weights. Then we switch over to cables. So let's get this done because I gotta use the bench and 
The people that always come in here always need the bench, so let's go. She's standing here and I see she's doing kickbacks and she's got the <laughs> band, the band around her foot and she has one weight because the other weight exploded, by the way. And she's going like this and I go, the band and the weight she leads back. <laughs> that thing pops like a damn balloon. Okay, we are all done with chest shoulders and triceps. The only thing I didn't do was these pullovers that I talked about in last week's video because my legs started to hurt since we have to go walk, not trying to hurt my leg. But we're in our transition, we're gonna go drop my we're gonna drop this bag off, then we're gonna go back down so it's kind of like a triathlon transition here. We're switching. All right, shoes change. I forgot my water in the gym, so I'm gonna hop off, grab that, then we're gonna head and walk two miles. It is four mile walk time, and you might be thinking, whoa, 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 the last clip, you were literally just walking your two miles. What happened, girl? So I got the one mile done, and then my stomach started speaking to me and said, you need to stop right now, and you, need to go upstairs because something was happening badly. So we cut it. Then that same night, it's Sunday by the way, that was Friday. That same night at 11 o'clock at night, our whole building had to be evacuated because the fire alarm was going off. Now we've had this happen a few times. It's like a false alarm. Basically it's so humid right now where we live that the humidity, I can't remember if it's in the trash chute or in the elevators, it messes up the whole building. It was elevator last year, maybe trash shoot this year. I don't know. It messes up the whole building, so the fire alarm goes off. And then yesterday at 11 a.m., again in the morning, it went off again. And our cats are petrified of this thing. So we felt bad leaving them. Also, the hamstring was bothering me. So we're like, okay, we're not going to leave them. Also, it was like on and off raining. Now, we left them today because it did not go off again last night after that 11 a.m. alarm. So we're hoping it's not going to go off while we're gone. On, I, she watched one of those TikToks where those ladies come up and they're showing you all the stuff on the cars. She's doing that right now. But we're out here. We got the St. Jude's on. We're going to do four miles. I've already, already spotted a few, a few runners here. So, yeah. Hopefully, everything will be good. I think the hamstring will feel good. Oh, there's a fly on the car. Oh. So I will check in once we complete our first mile. First mile down was like 19 minutes or something. I'll throw it up on the screen as always. So, not too bad. So this loop is not a full mile. No, it's a little over a mile, this first loop. That's good. But, we're gonna keep going. I'll see you at mile two. We are at just about two miles. We're at like 1.97, so I'll throw the time up here. It is hotter. It's really just because it's so humid, it's like so sticky. We're halfway now. It's just, this is stuck to me. Bad idea. Halfway at least. Time. So we just did three miles. For the time up here also we are currently at the car we're filling up our water bottle because we brought another one like we said we were gonna do last week but we just bought an extra one extra one also like when we came here i said there's runners there's bikers like i've not really seen anybody it's like i came here and they were all scared they said i know what this girl can do when she does her best effort one mile 14 minutes we got to get out of her way even though we're like holding like a 20 minute plus mile <laughs> they're scared they're worried and they're scared all right, we're back off. All right, so we are all done. Four miles complete, I'll throw it up here. Actually, Strava said 4.22. I did Strava and Map My Fitness, which is usually what I use, but Strava gave us an extra 0.22. So I don't know who's correct here. I was shooting for four, so I don't know. But that is it for today. We finally got this four mile walk complete. And the worst part is not next weekend, but the weekend after that, we have a 4.22. Five, we have four and a half miles to walk. So good Lord, the shirt is stuck to me. I'm gonna go change, freshen up, we have a few errands to run, but that is all for this week. Next week, we gotta make up that mile that I missed because of bowel -y issues. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, hopefully next week, we can have a perfect, perfect week where we get up in the morning because I hate going down to the gym in the afternoon. Oh, I never did legs this week. Uh oh, I'm not doing them when I get home. I'll be honest. Um, okay. I'm not, and we're just gonna have to forfeit it, and that's okay. I forgot about it until right now, but that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next week. Till then, roll the outro.